Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the 10 by 10 challenge now. I've been a little bit inspired because I've seen a few people on YouTube doing this. I have done this in the past. I'm going to link my other 10 by 10 challenge videos down in the description box below if you want to go and check them out. If you aren't familiar with what this is, essentially it was a styling challenge that was created by Lee Vosberg and Caroline Joy. I'm going to link both of their blogs down in the description box below. But essentially you pick 10 items and then you wear those same 10 pieces over the course of 10 days. So essentially 10 items for 10 days. So I have picked out 10 items here. I've got just a couple of additional styling pieces which I'm going to talk to you guys about at the end. But what I thought I'd do is first I'm going to run you through all the items I picked and what I think is great about them and then I'm going to show you the, I've got about 13 or 14 outfits that I've come up with. I'm going to show you guys those afterwards. So the breakdown that I've gone for today is four tops, a jacket, a dress, a skirt, a pair of jeans and then two pairs of shoes. So let's run through all the tops first and the first one I wanted to mention is this white button down shirt. Now I think these are such great basic layering pieces. This one here is from Uniqlo and it's got more of an oversized sort of fit to it. It's very relaxed and I like the fact that it's a little bit longer so you could kind of wear this loose. You don't have to wear it tucked in which I really like. It's almost a tunic length and probably would be especially if you are a petite. So that was my first basic piece. Then the second item that I decided to pick is one of my favorite wardrobe staples. I've talked about this so many times. Is my big oversized white sweater from Joseph. Now I've worn this so many times and I feel like it's a really great item because it pairs with everything. Being a creamy color, it's a really good blank canvas and I know it would keep me really warm if it was cold. Also I forgot to mention this is more of an autumn appropriate style video. Probably be good for those of you in the northern hemisphere too who are just kind of entering the tail end of winter. The next top that I've got is another turtleneck sweater, however this one is a lot more fitted. I call these skivvies, that's kind of what I grew up calling them. This one here is just a plain black one, I thought this would make a really good top just to wear on its own but it's also a great layering piece, perfect for throwing on underneath a dress. Then we have got my final top, which is a cashmere crew neck sweater. This one is in a really beautiful olive color and it's actually a men's sweater. I got this from Grana and the extra small, so it's a little bit oversized on me and I really like that oversized fit throughout the sleeves. However, if you do want a woman's one, because they didn't do a woman's in this particular color, Everlane has a really similar one, which I'm going to link in the description box below. But just nice and simply and warm and I kind of feel like a crew neck is a great basic to have, particularly if you are sort Sort of narrowing down your wardrobe or maybe you're traveling and it's going to be cold and you need something and you just want a basic that'll go with everything. Then we've got a simple black blazer. This is a newer addition to my wardrobe. I kind of needed to update my helmet lang blazer because it's starting to show signs of wear. I've had it for almost eight years now, which is a really long time. Uh, and I ended up going with this one. It's just a really classic style. It is slightly longer, but again, black blazers, they go with everything and they're a really great tailored piece to have in your wardrobe just in general. Then we have got a dress. Now this dress is a fantastic because it's actually not just a dress. It also doubles up as a vest as well. You can wear it open and it just looks really chic. So it's a tailored style. This one is really appropriate for the office and sadly this is from last year but I have found a couple of alternatives which I think were more affordable than this one was uh, which I'm going to link in the description box but I love the little button detail here on the front. It's almost got a double breasted style, the lapels and then it has this ruffle which I think is just really beautiful, really elegant and very feminine as well. Then for bottoms, I went with a leopard print skirt. Now, I will just preface this by saying that autumn and winter in Sydney is really, really mild. Our winters don't tend to get much colder than 11 degrees Celsius, so if that gives you an indication of what it's like here in winter, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty warm um, by most winter standards. But I wanted to include this. I think you could also include, I had another skirt that I was tossing up between. It's just a black and white polka dot skirt from Topshop, which that one you could easily wear with tights. This one I don't love with tights as much, but you could pair your boots or your shoes with some socks if you wanted some extra warmth. So that's the next piece. Then for my final clothing item, I went for a pair of straight leg jeans. Now normally I'm a skinny jean girl, but I thought I would mix things up and I know a lot of you guys love straight leg jeans too. These ones are the Everlane Cheeky Straight and they do have a slightly tapered fit through the ankle, which I really love. I think it's very flattering. I get the ankle length just because my legs are a little bit shorter in proportion to the rest of my body. Then we've got a couple pairs of shoes. So I went for one pair of boots, which are these ones here. They're a uh, tan or kind of a 
rich saddle brown uh, suede boot from Loaf Le Randall and I like the fact that they're quite snug around the ankle. I just think they're very, very flattering. Then the other pair of shoes I went for are my Everlane Day heels just because they're such a classic. They go with absolutely everything. You can wear tights with them and I know that they're really comfortable and I will feel great while I'm wearing them as well. Then I did have a couple of bonus items and I know when Lee did her challenge last time in winter she did say that she didn't include coats so I decided not to include a coat and I've got here this one from Mute by JL. So this is the coat that I would pair with all of these outfits. Uh, it's just a really nice simple design. It's sort of a longer, almost a duster length on me, which I really love. Then I've got two belts here. One is from Sarah Van Oosterham and this is a really beautiful deep dark chocolate brown and it's a little bit wider than my other belt, which is just a simple basic black belt. This one is from Isabel Morant, but you do not need to spend this much money on a belt. I will link an affordable alternative in the description box. Finally, a handbag. Now, I do tend to switch out my handbags maybe almost daily. It sort of depends on what I'm wearing, but if I need something really basic that'll go with everything, I usually opt for a black leather tote bag. This one here is from Kuyana. I have done a review on this, plus a couple of other tote bags that I have, which I'm going to link up here if you guys would like to go and check that out. So those are all of the items that I will be styling in these outfits. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw everything on and I'm going to talk you guys through each of the outfits. Okay, so for this first outfit, what I've decided to do is pair that white shirt with the leopard print skirt and the tan boots. And I really like the way that this looks with the sleeves of the shirt actually rolled up. I think that gives it a really nice, relaxed kind of a vibe, which is sort of what I was going for with this one. And I've thrown that tan coat over the top. Now, obviously, if it was really cold, I'd also throw on a little hat, some gloves, and also a scarf as well. For the second outfit, I've gone for the black turtleneck top and I've also paired that with the Saba dress and I've worn my day heels with it. If I wanted to elevate this a little bit more and maybe make it feel a bit more work appropriate, I could also add a blazer over the top. So I've kind of got a double blazer look, but I really like it. For my third outfit, I've paired that grana sweater and I've worn it with the leopard print skirt and the day heels. Now, to make this a little bit more dressed up, I'd throw that black blazer on over the top. For this next outfit, I've worn that really big oversized sweater with the leopard print skirt and I've paired this with the day heels just because I wanted to dress it up a little bit. If I was super cold, again, I would throw that camel sweater over the top and if I really wanted to change the way that this sweater looked, I'd maybe look at belting it at the waist with that chocolate brown belt just to give me a little bit of a different silhouette. For this next look, I wanted to show you how I really like to wear that black turtleneck with jeans. So I love the way that this is tucked in. I think it's really elevated. It looks very, very chic. I've worn that black belt at the waist too, just to kind of define my waist. And I've paired it with my day heels. Now, if I wanted to make this look a little bit more dressed up, I would add in that Saba dress, but I wear it like a blazer or like a long trench. Again, if I wanted to go another step up, maybe look, make this a little bit more of a professional workwear look, I would throw a blazer on over the top. I really don't think that you can go wrong with a classic white shirt and jeans combo and I really love how this looks. Again, I've rolled up the sleeves just because I think that's really chic and I've paired it with my day heels. I just think it's such a classic combination that you can't really go wrong with and again, I have worn that belt at the waist too. To make this look a little bit different, I have thrown on that sweater from Grana, which I think makes it look a little bit preppier, but I love how you can see the collar of the shirt poking out the top. I just think it's really chic. And for another look, what I've done is I've taken that sweater off and I've thrown that dress from Saba on. Again, I wanted to kind of use this to elevate the look and I really love this. I think it's a nice, casual, you know, relaxed workwear professional outfit. For the next outfit, I'm keeping the jeans on, but what I've decided to do is switch out that white shirt for the white oversized sweater, which I've done a little bit of a half tuck, so it's tucked in the front, but it's loose at the back. And I've paired this with those brown suede boots and the camel coat. I really like this combination because I think it is such an easy winter outfit. 
I'm going back to the leopard print skirt in this next look and I have paired it with that black turtleneck sweater which I think really dresses it up a little bit. I feel like this is such a sleek piece uh, but to kind of bring that back down and make it feel a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more casual which is kind of the vibe that I was going for, I've worn it with those brown suede boots and I've also thrown a coat on over the top which honestly I think if you're wanting to bear a little bit of leg in the winter a really nice big thick coat is a great way to help balance it out and I always find that helps to keep me warm. If I wanted to make this look a little bit dressier then I would switch out the boots for the day heels just because I think that that would help to elevate it. Then for my final outfit I've gone back to that grana sweater and I'm wearing that sweater with the jeans and I really love this color combination that olive green is just absolutely beautiful and I think it plays off really nicely with the wash black color of the jeans. The shoes that I'm wearing are the boots because I wanted this to be a really nice relaxed sort of a weekend look and then I've thrown that coat over the top. To help break up the top and the jeans what I've done is I've worn that dark brown belt which I think looks really really chic and helps to tie everything in. So that is my latest take on the 10 by 10 challenge. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I think it just goes to show you that you can really do a lot with a little, which is something that I talk about a lot on my channel. Uh, I'd love to know which your favorite outfit was out of all of these down in the comments below. And if you are new here and you'd like to see more videos like this from me, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you back. And don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.